Hello everyone, it's Benny, and today I'm going to show you a fast compact multiplier. This is it. This is it right here. This right here is a complete 8-bit multiplier. And as you can see, it's pretty darn small for a multiplier. And it's fast too. So right now I've input 11 and 3, so I'm going to hit the multiply button and done. That's 32 right there. That's 1. So 33. That's correct. 11 times 3 is 33. So I'm going to put in another number to show you how it's done. So that's 5 times 5. I'm going to reset the display so you can see the multiplication. So I reset it to 1's first, and then I add 1 to clear it. And now let's multiply again. 5 times 5 done. This is 1, that's 8, that's 16. 16 plus 8 is 24, plus 1 is 25. It's right. 5 times 5 is indeed 25. So this is the multiplier. It's really small. It's pretty darn fast for how small it is. And yeah, this is the exact dimensions. 12 by 7 by 19, and in the worst case it is 47 ticks, which is not a bad lower bound at all in my opinion. What makes the multiplier I just showed you so awesome is that it's both small and fast. Before, it was possible to have one, but not both. And that's made possible thanks to the magic of carry cancel adders. This I have in front of you is one of my old multipliers. And believe it or not, this is compact <laughs> for pre-carry cancel adder multipliers. This multiplier is faster. It can, in worst case, it is 17 ticks, so it's a little over twice as fast as the one I just showed you. But I mean, look at the size of this thing. It's like the freaking Titanic over here. So you probably wouldn't be using this unless you really, really had a need for a fast multiplier. And this is one of the reasons why I've never done a serious tutorial on multiplication before. There was no good way to do it. You could either have a giant behemoth like this that would take forever to set up and build, and probably wouldn't be useful anyways because of how big it is, or you could have this really tiny one that's so slow it's barely usable. Finally, for the first time in Minecraft history, thanks to carry cancel ladders, it's possible to have a small, fast multiplier. And that is amazing. So, as I hinted at earlier, the key component that makes this multiplier even possible is this carry cancel adder right here. Because of this carry cancel adder, which is as small and fast as it is, I can easily handle all the partial products of multiplication that are computed by this comparator AND gate right here. So I feed in all the partial products, the carry cancel adder will sum them all up, and that is the final result of multiplication. And that is the very quick view from a thousand feet of how this multiplier works and how this is even possible. But really, this multiplier is just a single instance of this sort of phenomenon action. And I'd like to show you a few more circuits that are even smaller and faster because of this new possibility from carry cancel adders. This circuit right here is an 8-bit divider. And as you can see, it's not quite as small or as fast as the 8-bit multiplier I just showed you, but it's pretty good. It is 68 ticks in the worst case, and it will give you a complete 8-bit quotient right here, and a complete 8-bit remainder over here. And what's really amazing about this divider is how simple it is to use. You have one input right here, one input right here, and when you want to divide, you just hit this button right there, and it goes. Within 68 ticks, you will have your quotient and remainder. Before carry cancel adders, it was possible to get a divider that was close to this size, and close-ish to this speed, though it would probably be a bit slower, or you could have something that's close-ish to this simplicity, but 
probably not. Dividers before this were really, really quirky in their inputs and their behavior. And if you want to get an idea of just how bizarre pre-carry cancel ladder dividers were, look at my video on the compact derp divider. I'll provide a link in the description. That should give you an idea of just how really bizarre dividers used to be, even if that's a bit of an extreme example. So this is really awesome. I love it. And I'm pretty sure this thing could be both smaller and faster. I'm quite convinced you can get a divider that's close to 50-ish ticks, but, well, that's a work in progress. Finally, as a point of comparison, I'd like to show you a multiplier I built before carry cancel adders were invented that uses the same logic as the small multiplier I showed you earlier. As you can see, this thing isn't exactly tiny. I mean, sure, it's smaller than the titanic multiplier I showed you earlier, but it's far from compact, and this thing is slower than the multiplier I showed you earlier. It's, I think, somewhere around 60 ticks in every case. Not just the worst case, even simple multiplication takes 60 ticks. So, I'm not just hyping this up. Carry cancel adders really are a huge step in the right direction, and there's all kinds of tricks and improvements that you can do that just weren't possible before. It makes a whole class of redstone circuits practical that simply weren't before. And after watching all this, you might be wondering how you can get on, on the action, how you too can build a multiplier like the one I showed you earlier. Find out next time! Hope you enjoyed! Hope you learned, and I'll see you next time.